Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the SU25 Frogfoot, the non-T version. We're looking at air-to-air -air missiles. Really simple, really quick video because all we can do is have our missiles on pylons 1 and 10. They are the R60M, that's all we have, which is, I'd say, equivalent of somewhere between an AIM-9 P5, maybe an AIM-9 Mike ranges at worst about 1.5 nautical miles at best about 8 nautical miles depending on your aspect altitude and speed and that of the hostiles note that rearming in this aircraft requires the canopy open engines off and spooled down only two controls for today to fire the missile press and hold weapon fire select air to air combat mode or longitudinal aiming mode press that there in the cockpit and we have a hostile in front of us so uh, press longitudinal missile any mode you can see if we pause there that all we've got equipped is the two r60ms that pylon there and there you can know they're selected when they show green there and there the way this is going to work is the seeker head of the missile is represented by this cross here we just have to put a relevant heat source within that cross there to get a tone when we get a tone we will hear it orally and we will get an orange lamp to fire there we'll then fire the missile at the target and it is a passive ir seeking seeker head which will track to the heat source note that it does not have any iff functionality so you must find the coalition of the aircraft in different manner also does not have any ranging information because we do not have an air-to-air -air radar so ranging will have to be judged by eye and experience and it's simple as that we cannot cage or uncage this seek head it's, it's all locked to ball sight so unpause put the guy in the crosshair press and hold the trigger weapon fires simple as that note that when you move away from the heat source then we no longer have the tone or the light to fire. I hope that was useful and see you later.